next we are going to see MOSFET. So MOSFET has uh, classified into two types, depletion type and enhancement type. So each type further classified into P type channel and N type channel. Uh, this is uh, this is the symbol of uh, MOSFET that is N channel type MOSFET. MOSFET uh, plays an uh, important semiconductor uh, device which is widely used in many circuit application. Here the input impedance of uh, MOSFET is much more than that of FET because of very leakage uh, current, uh, small leakage current. So here MOSFET uh, has much greater commercial importance than the JFET. You can see the symbol of MOSFET in N type channel. Uh, the MOSFET can be used in any of the circuit covered for the FET. Therefore, all the equations apply equally well to the MOSFET and FET in amplifier connection. MOSFET uses a metal gate electrode instead of PN junction in a JFET, which is separated from the semiconductor by an insulating uh, thin layer, SiO2, to modulate the resistance of the construction channel. So that it will be called as a insulated gate fit. Uh, MOSFET operates both uh, in the depletion mode as well as in the enhancement mode. Uh, this is the circuit uh, symbol of uh, N-channel and P-channel. You can see the arrow mark which will be opposite to each other. This is the difference between MOSFET and FET. Here, uh, there is uh, only a single P region, it will be called a substrate. A thin layer of metal oxide is deposited over the left side of the channel so that the metallic gate is deposited over the uh, oxide layer. As silicon dioxide will be acting as the insulator, which keeps the gate to, uh, gate is uh, insulated from the channel. For this reason, MOSFET uh, sometimes called as insulated gate fit. Enhancement MOSFET uh, structure. Here, uh, a P-channel MOSFET consists of lightly doped N substrate into which uh, two heavily doped uh, uh, P region act as the source and uh, the drain. A thin layer of silicon dioxide is grown over the surface of the entire assembly. Folds are cut into uh, this uh, silicon dioxide layer for making contact with the uh, positive uh, source and drain region on the silicon dioxide layer a metal that is aluminum layer will be overlaid covering the entire channel region from source to drain this aluminum layer will constitute the gate so that the area of the MOSFET is typically five square millimeter or less than that so this area is extremely small being only about five percentage of the area required for a bipolar junction transistor a parallel plate capacitor is formed with the metal areas of the gate and the semiconductor channel acting as the electrode of the capacitor. The oxide layer acts, acts as the dielectric between the electrode. A symbols of uh, P-channel enhancement and uh, 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 is given here. The substrate will be connected to the common terminal, that is to the ground terminal. A negative potential will be applied to the gate, which will result in the formation of electric field normally to the silicon dioxide layer. This electric field originates from uh, induced positive charge on the semiconductor side on the lowest surface of the silicon dioxide layer. The induced positive charge become minority carriers in the n-type substrate. Uh, again, they represented the N channel enhancement mode uh, MOSFET symbol. Working of N channel enhancement MOSFET, which consists of a lightly doped P type substrate into which two heavily doped N type material are diffused. The surface is coated with a layer of silicon dioxide. Holes are cut through the silicon dioxide to make contact with the N type block. So in uh, depletion mode, you will be having continuous uh, channel 
but here you will be having um, uh, cut through uh, that is uh, partitioned by each part here the metal is deposited through the holes to form drain and source terminal the surface area between drain and source uh, a metal plate is deposited from which gate terminal is taken out here the gate is insulated from the body of fed so it is called as insulated gate fed structurally there exists uh, no channel between sources and drain so mosfet sometimes called as n channel enhancement type because of a thin layer of p type substrate touching the metal oxide film provides channel for electron and hence act as the n type material drain is made positive with respect to the source and no potential is applied to the gate as shown in figure the two n blocks uh, and p type substrate from back to back p n junction connected by the resistance of the p type material both the junctions cannot be forwarded at the same time so small drain current order of uh, few nano amperes uh, will flow so mosfet is cut off when gate source voltage is zero that is why it is called normally of mosfet the gate is made positive with respect to source substrate as shown in figure a channel of electrons is formed in between the source and drain region so here it behave as a capacitor with the gate metal which is acting as a one electrode upper surface of the substrate as other electrode and silicon dioxide will act as a dielectric medium uh, here when applying a uh, positive voltage to the gate uh, the capacitor begins to charge consequently positive charge appears on the gate and negative charge appears in the substrate between the drain and source the n channel thus formed is called induced n channel or um, n type inversion layer as vgs increases no electrons in the channel uh, will flow that um, uh, the number of uh, uh, electrons in the channel will be represented by the flow of drain current which will increase so here the uh, it behave as a capacitor with the gate metal acting as one electrode upper surface of the uh, substrate as other electrode and silicon dioxide as a dielectric medium so that uh, the applying uh, positive voltage to the capacitor begins to charge the same point repeated here uh, the minimum gate source voltage which produces the induced n channel is called threshold voltage uh so that uh, vgs value will be very very less compared to the vgs at a uh, uh, threshold voltage uh, id value will become zero drain current starts only vgs uh, greater than threshold voltage for a given value of vds as vgs is increased more and more electrons accumulate under the gate and so id current increases so the conductivity of the channel is enhanced by the positive bias on the gate the device will be known as the enhancement mode mosfet the n channel mosfet can never operate with a negative gate voltage so this is the drain characteristics of mosfet we can observe that the drain current enhanced on application of negative gate voltage this is the reason for calling it as an enhancement mosfet by increasing the gate potential pinch of voltage and drain current will be increased the curve will be similar to drain characteristics of jfet this is the enhancement mosfet uh, symbol here the channel will be splitted this is depletion mosfet here the channel will be continuous this is the difference uh, in the symbol so in the depletion mosfet may be fabricated from the basic mosfet structure an n type uh, channel is obtained by diffusion between n type uh, source and drain in an n channel mosfet so in depletion uh, mosfet a light doped n type channel has been introduced between two heavily doped source and drain block depletion mosfet may be uh, fabricated from the basic mosfet structure and p type channel is obtained by diffusion between p type source and drain in an p channel mosfet so in p channel depletion mosfet are made by the using n type substrate and diffusing a lightly doped p type channel between two heavily doped p type source and drain block these are the symbols of uh, p channel depletion mosfet for uh, p type uh, this is the working so here uh, when uh, uh, negative uh, gate operation of a depletion mosfet is called as depletion mode operation 
here uh, VGS will value equal to zero. So uh, electrons will never uh, will flow freely from source to drain through the connecting channel since the channel exists between drain and source. ID uh, flows evenly uh, when VGS is equal to zero. Hence, it normally called as on MOSFET. When negative voltage is applied to the gate, as shown in figure, positive charges are induced in the channel by capacitor action. The induced uh, positive charges make the channel less conductive and drain current decreases as VGS is made more negative. So N channel depletion MOSFET is shown here with the negative voltage as a depletion MOSFET which will behave like a JFET. So drain characteristics of depletion MOSFET is given. When the gate source voltage is zero, uh, then considerable drain current will flow. When the gate is applied with a negative voltage, positive charges are induced in the end channel through the silicon dioxide layer of the gate capacitor. The conduction in end channel fit is due to electron, that is majority carrier. Therefore, the induced positive charge make the end channel less conductive. The drain current therefore get reduced with the increase in the gate bias voltage. The distribution of charges in the channel result in depletion of majority carrier. That is why this type of FET is called um, depletion MOSFET. The voltage drop due to the drain current causes the channel region nearer to the drain to be more depleted than the depth region due to the source. This is similar to the pinch off in JFET. The characteristics is given. The depletion MOSFET can also be operated in enhancement mode simply by applying a positive voltage to the gate. Application of positive gate voltage result in induced negative channel in the n-type channel. The, thus the conductivity of the channel gate increase to the end channel depletion MOSFET can be used as in uh, enhancement mode by changing the gate voltage polarity. When a MOSFET is operated this way we can uh, use it as the uh, dual, dual mode um, MOSFET. This is the comparison of JFET and MOSFET. In JFET, it is not insulated from the channel, but it is insulated from the channel in MOSFET. Channel and gate forms 2 pn junction. Here, channel and gate forms uh, parallel plate capacitor. Here, we have only three leads, but in MOSFET, we have four leads. Uh, in JFET, it can be operated only in one mode, depletion mode, but it can be operated in both the modes, depletion and enhancement mode in MOSFET. Input impedance is high uh, in JFET, but in low, but very high in uh, MOSFET. Signal hand handling capacity is less in uh, JFET, but it is more in uh, MOSFET. Gate current is more in JFET, but it is very less in uh, uh, MOSFET. Fabrication is compli uh, complex and costly in JFET, but it is uh, easy to fabricate and cheap uh, in the MOSFET. Advantages of MOSFET over uh, JFET. So here the insulated gate in MOSFET uh, result in much uh, greater input impedance than that of the JFET. And then second point, inter-electrode capacitance are independent of bias voltage and these capacitance are smaller in case of MOSFET than JFET. It is easier to fabricate MOSFET than JFET. MOSFET has no gate diode. This makes it possible to operate with the positive or negative volt gate voltage. Application of MOSFET are, uh, it, because of higher input resistance, the enhancement type MOS device can be used in micro resistor, integrated micro circuit are also used in electrometer circuit where exceptionally low current are to be measured MOSFET are most nearly ideal. Uh, MOSFET are very small in size which make them too suitable for a highly complex digital array. Thank you.